Hello everybody, and welcome to Real Life Stories with Michael Jai White. You, you do know who I am, don't you? I've done movies such as Spawn and Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? And let me, let me, let me touch on that subject because, you know, a lot of people keep coming up to me and asking me, am I really engaged to Angela? Don't they realize it's just a movie? It's just a movie. What a lot of people don't know is that I've actually really dated Angela, a.k.a. Tasha Smith, years ago. It was a long time ago. But I was the one that broke it off because she was just so damn evil. I just want to let you guys know why I made this video. I made this video because I know you see how tough my exterior is. And everybody always sees how big my muscles are and my chest and how well built and in shape that I'm in. But what you don't realize is that I never used to always be this way. When I was a little kid, I was really skinny and I got beat up a lot. I got my ass handed to me so many different times and it hurt so much. I didn't understand how these kids could just do this to somebody. I was five years old. They beat me up just because I was little. It was just terrible. But I'm gonna tell you one of the most painful stories of my entire life. When I was five years old, the teacher, the teacher told me one day, she said, class, whoever scores the highest on this upcoming test will get a dozen donuts as a reward. And I love donuts. I love donuts. So, when my mother came to pick me up, I was so excited. And I told my mother, I said, Mother, the teacher said if whoever got the highest score in the test, that we'd get a dozen donuts as a reward. And I really want to get these donuts because they're so tasty. So she helped me stay up all night and I studied and I took my pen and I wrote down on the paper everything I needed to write down and memorize for the test. So the next day I go to school, I take the test. And I was so happy because my teacher told me that I passed. She said, Michael, you got the highest score in the classroom. Now tomorrow when you come in in the morning, those donuts will be waiting for you right on my desk. I couldn't wait to get those donuts. I just couldn't wait. I love donuts. So the next day, I get to the classroom and nobody's there. So I'm looking around trying to figure out where in the world everybody is. So I just sit down at my desk with my hands folded like this. And all of a sudden I hear a noise. And I turn around. And then when I turn around, all of my classmates were standing there holding both boxes of the, the donuts. They had the dozen donuts in their hand. And they proceeded to pick each donut up one by one. One by one. And I thought that they were going to give me my donuts. I thought they would be proud of me. But they actually proceeded to throw the donuts at me. Just launch donuts after donut after donut after donut. And I didn't understand why. How could they be so evil? It just wasn't fair. So I just... So I just sat there at my desk, covered in jelly. I was just covered in jelly, completely covered in jelly, as I sat there at my desk. And I didn't understand. Why would these kids throw all these jelly donuts at me? I mean, it just isn't fair. It just isn't fair. So ever since that day, I've never in my life touched a donut ever again. That's why when I do my movies now, I tell all of the producers, no donuts on the set. No donuts on the set. No donuts on the set. 
I'm petrified of donuts now, especially jelly donuts. I have bad dreams about donuts now. You have no idea how painful it is to have jelly donuts launched all over your body. I'm Michael J. White. I'm Michael J. White. Why would you do this to me? You producers, if you even think about bringing donuts to the set after I've told you not to, you better watch Blood and Bone. Because if you try that with me now, and if you bullies try any of that with me now, I'll karate chop you in the neck because I'm Michael Jai White.